Uhuru Kenyatta, Professor Njogona Ndongo, Richard Etemesi, the key policymakers in the Kenyan economy and one industry that holds the key to the problems Kenya is experiencing in the money markets, especially with regards to the rapidly weakening Kenya shilling. A unique show of solidarity. And for Uhuru Kenyatta, after a long silence, a much-needed statement was due. The ongoing weakening of the Kenya shilling is not really being driven by changes in our economic fundamentals. Indeed, our broad, uh, underlying broad economic conditions remain largely sound. These are words that Kenyans hope will make life easier sooner rather than later. These fundamentals refer to factors that contribute to the growth of the economy. One, GDP is growing, and the fact that it is growing in itself is a positive sign. Two, consumer confidence. That markets are open and people are buying and selling shows that the economy is active and the weather is also favorable. The rains are back and agricultural production is set to rise. Another important factor is that the country is still importing and exporting, even though there is a heavy imbalance between the two. The biggest issue facing the importers is a weak local currency, which Kenyatta says was caused by two major reasons. Increased genuine demand for foreign exchange to pay for imports needed for production and consumption, and demand pressures from market players who may be taking speculative positions for personal or private gain. So what do the top three key players in the financial markets say should be done? With immediate effect, commercial banks will reduce their foreign exchange exposure from 20% to 10%, freeing more dollars into the market and easing the pressure on the shilling. The Forex Dealers Forum, which allows Forex traders from commercial banks to interact with the central bank, will be activated, as well as immediate talks with the International Monetary Fund to supply the country with dollars so as to ensure ample supply of foreign exchange. Now, with matters getting drastic in recent weeks, the market was getting anxious that perhaps the government would reintroduce foreign exchange controls in line with recent controls legislated in the fuel and commodity sectors. I, I want to make it categorically clear, clear that the government has no intention whatsoever to reverse its current policies. Now it is in times like this that Kenyans need an assurance of that magnitude, that in spite of the tough economic times, the Kenyan economy is still fundamentally sound. With the onset of the rains as well as the decline of international crude prices, perhaps better days lie ahead. Reporting for Citizen Live at 9, I am Terry Ann Chibet.